I met Steve 30, maybe 40 years ago, uh, probably at uh, maybe a Rice seminar. I met Steve, I uh, believe, for the first time at a Quaker meeting. I have known Dr. Kleinberg, Steve, um, really only for a couple of years, but I've known his work for decades. First time I met Steve, though, I, I knew he was a kindred spirit, that he had a real heart for helping others. I first came to Houston in 1984 to go to Rice. I did not yet know I was going to be a sociology major, but it looked like an interesting class. I had a strong belief in social justice, and that's part of how we have um, worked together in the community, uh, low these 40 years. It, it's actually hard for me to overemphasize the importance of Steve's work in, in how that has driven our mission at United Way. His lectures are fantastic. He can talk a mile a minute, but you can understand him. He was electric. He was so excited about this city. You know, I'm like a small town kid. I had no idea what cities were like. And here was a guy who wanted to tell me all about this one and to find out more. He brings this, this singular, infectious um, enthusiasm to every, everything he does. Because I was so young and I did not yet know how involved I would eventually be with Houston. I didn't know that I cared about Houston yet. I didn't care about Houston yet. I was just trying to get my sociology credit. And I look back and I realized how much this has shaped my later life. Steve has become a great friend and someone that I really cherish his, his, his mentoring. Uh, he has a lot of wisdom on the important issues in our city. And he's so credible. Everybody loves him, everybody listens to him, everybody believes him. There are so many things about Stephen's work that have really deeply affected me. One is simply this attention paid to a city. Uh, you know, as a journalist, I realized in my 30s, oh, this is what I care most about. What is this city? What is it doing? How is it changing? What makes it run? During the time that I served as the president of the Collaborative for Children, uh, our focus was on how to improve the quality of early education. One of the things that we um, always look forward to was the survey coming out every year and what it would tell us uh, about what we're doing um, and how we can improve, and how we can be more responsive to the community. Yeah, you look at our city now, the racial mix and, and the ethnic mix, it's incredible. And it's our strength. Uh, my gosh, uh, so many people uh, don't want it to change, but it's gonna change and you have to embrace the change. And I think Steve has helped us embrace the changes. And, you know, as Steve says in Prophetic City, you know, Houston is kind of the laboratory and the frontier for the rest of the United States. What, what happens here could be a leading indicator of what's to come across the rest of the nation. You've given your life to Rice University. Thank you so much, Stephen, for everything that you have done for me and for my city. Thank you so much on behalf of me, all the things you've done for me and my company, and all you've done for the city of Houston. Thank you. If, if we are able to find ourselves in a place where we are achieving, or even getting close to achieving the promise that this community holds, it will be in no small part because of your incredible body of work and also your incredible heart. So thank you so much for all that you've done um, and we will miss you very much and we hope that we still see you around. Thank you, Steve, for the amazing contribution that you've made to our community. Um, thank you for your research uh, to show us how we can be a more equitable and fairer place to live. And lastly, thank you for being my friend.